What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jay from Illusion TV, where we do tech tutorials and reviews, tips and tricks. And today, we're gonna to do a review on this guy right here. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and then we're gonna get the router set up. And I'm gonna bring you guys along with me step by step using the Linksys app. And we're gonna see how easy or not easy it is to get this thing up and running and fully functional. I'm also gonna do a few tests that's gonna involve me, you know, having uh, multiple TV streaming, high definition content. I'm gonna have a gaming system going, music streaming from like Spotify or Pandora on like multiple phones. I'm really gonna try to like put this thing through its paces before I give you guys my final thoughts at the end of the video. All right, so now we got the box in front of us. Uh, it's a Linksys AC3000, uh, hashtag MR9000. Uh, it's part of the MaxStream series. It is a mesh Wi-Fi 5 router, and it has coverage up to 3,000 square feet and supports 25 plus devices. All right, so let's open this thing up and slide this off, put that to the side. All right, so I have a note here. Thank you for taking the time to test and review our product. We value your feedback. If you have any problems, give us a call. That's pretty much what it says. Okay, <laughs> opening the box up. So, all right, we're greeted with a setup guide. So setting up new Wi-Fi. Download and launch the Linksys app to start setup. And it shows a little app store symbol as well as a Google Play symbol. And it also shows at the bottom that if you're adding this to an existing network, you're gonna use the app as well. All right, so we'll put that to the side. All right, so it seems like they're giving you a category five ethernet cable that's gonna be used to connect the router to your cable modem. We'll put that off to the side. And looks like they're giving you a pretty standard AC wall adapter. It's not too clunky, so that's nice. And now we will take out the router from the box. And it looks like we're greeted again with a regulatory and warranty information pamphlet. Uh, yeah, we don't really need that, so we'll just put that to the side. And now the star of the show, the Linksys AC3000. All right, and... It looks and looks really nice, actually. Um, I'm so used to the one that I used that was given to me from my cable company that this just looks so different compared to that. Uh, we have four antennas. They pop straight up. It's going to give you that nice coverage. On the back here, we have a reset button, a USB 3.0 port. You have four Ethernet ports to hardwire to a device. You also have an internet port that you'll use to connect to your modem, a 12-volt power supply input, as well as an on-off switch. All right, so guys, not going to make this long. At this point, I'm actually going to get this thing set up. I'm going to grab my phone and install the app, and we're going to get this going. So stay tuned. All right, so basically I have this thing set up on the table now. Uh, all I did was install the power cord and the ethernet cable from my cable modem, and that's really all you have to do. It's really simple. I'm gonna turn this thing on right now. All right, we get a solid blue light, and now I'm also gonna grab my phone, and guys, uh, just make sure you download the app to whatever device that you're gonna be using, and uh, this way that you're able to set it up. All right, so I have my phone in my hand. Uh, we're going to click on the Linksys app. And it says already using a Linksys product. Uh, I'm not going to log in yet. I'm going to click the bottom one uh, to launch the setup. Here's the terms and conditions. Hit agree. Uh, now it's going to be looking for nearby devices. Uh, I'm really loving that they have an app for this. Yes, it's blinking purple. All right, we'll click that. All right, now it's checking for internet. So... That was pretty quick. All right, create an account. Uh, create an account if you have to. I already have an account, so I'll hit login here. But uh, if you have to create an account, you just create an account. All right, we'll skip that. You don't see that. All right, so now it's linking to my account. So basically what I was saying before is uh, I really like that they have an app for this. It makes it really simple. It's a guided tour. It's going to explain everything uh, to you if you're not familiar with uh, setting up your own uh, network in, in your house. Because, you know, buying a router is, you know, sometimes can be daunting to a lot of people because, uh, you know, in the old days, 
uh, you used to have to hardwire a computer to a router. As soon as you bought it, you'd have to type in the IP address to the router, gain access, enter the the password and username uh, to be able to get into the router and then set everything up. And a lot of the times, you know, unless you knew what you were doing, it was kind of hard. Uh, and, you know, as times got on, you were able to actually, you know, access it and do it wirelessly. But this is, to me, a whole new game. Uh, you have an app. It's guided. So this means that, like, my grandmother could do it. My father could do it. Anybody could do it. So I'm really happy to see them implement this. Uh, I don't know how long this has been around. This is my first Linksys router. Uh, but so far, I'm, I'm really impressed with the ease of use and uh, the whole package, you know, all together. All right. So this is creating a login access. It says this could take up to a minute. We'll see what happens. All right, your account is linked. Now it's asking me to name my Wi-Fi. So of course I will name it Illusion TV. And password you don't need to see. And now again, we're at another loading screen configuring your Wi-Fi. This could take up to a minute. All right, saying do we want to join the network? For some reason, it didn't join it, but I'm still connected to it. All right, I'm going to name this living room, saving. All right, success. You set up a router, living room, and now we have a nice steady blue light on the router itself. So looks like everything's all good. All right, now we have a pop-up menu here. It says expand your Wi-Fi. You can add nodes to your router to increase the coverage in your home. Uh, I'm going to skip this step. I don't have any extra nodes. I don't think I even need them. Uh, all right. Always fresh updates will happen overnight automatically and only take a few minutes. Uh, yep. Why not? Uh, always recommend doing that. It helps the manufacturers, you know, come up with updates. And now your Wi-Fi is ready, connected. Uh, connect your devices to your new Wi-Fi Illusion TV. All right. So now I'm actually going to go to the dashboard. We're going to take a look at what the dashboard looks like. So, you know, once this is all set up, this is going to be like your main control panel. If you want to make changes or kind of see what's going on, this is saying, do I want to receive notifications when any node losses, when any node loses connection to the internet? I'll hit yes, even though I don't have any nodes because why not? Like, doesn't matter. All right, Illusion TV is online. I have two devices connected. Um, that's because I actually use the same information as my home, uh, internet. And that's going to enable my computers to just connect right to it. Um, all right. So here we go. So we have devices, right? There's a device panel. You have my phone, you have my computer. It shows you the, uh, the frequency band that each device is under. If you click the device, it gives you all the information, the Mac address, the IP, all that other stuff. So we'll go back out and now we'll go down to Wi-Fi settings. And that's pretty much going to be like your name of your router and your password. All right. So we can also set up guest access. So that's really nice uh, in case you don't want to give away your password to uh, people when they visit. And then there's also a speed check. We'll do that. That's pretty cool. It does like an internal speed test for your, you know, your internet speeds from your ISP. So we'll get out of this now. And uh, basically, we have parent controls. This is going to be great for all you guys who have kids. Uh, you can schedule a pause and block specific websites for certain devices. So that's going to be really useful for all you parents out there, you know, with all your kids and worried about, you know, what they're viewing. Uh, device prioritization, add up to three devices to prioritize. Devices not on this list will share what's left of your internet capacity. I think that's a really cool feature because sometimes you have um, certain devices that you absolutely need the fastest speeds from. Uh, so, you know, having that is just great. All right. So, yeah, basically just looking at the bottom, you have all your advanced settings. We're not going to go into that. The dashboard is primarily what you're going to use when you want to see, like, the status of your router or uh, any devices that are connected to it. All right, guys. So at this point, we're going to go back up now and I'm basically going to go and give you guys my final thoughts. 
So this Linksys router right here has been performing exceptionally well. I've used it with multiple TV streaming high definition content while streaming music on my phone, downloading stuff with my computer. I've also had my gaming system on and playing online content there while watching TV and doing everything. And I haven't had anything stop or skip or buffer. As of the last couple of days, this thing has been performing exceptionally well. And with that alone, I highly recommend it. Another thing I wanted to talk about is their implementation of their app. The guided process that they take you through, besides waiting uh, a little bit while it's getting set up, extremely easy, anyone can do it. So if you are looking for a high performance router, but maybe you're not sure on how to get it set up, like a home network, no fears there. Linksys takes care of all of that for you. The app is excellent. And then also the things with the app, as far as device management, you have device management where you can do prioritization. So let's say you have a gaming system, you have a living room TV and a bedroom TV. And those three devices you wanna say, no matter what's going on in my home network, I need these devices to work and I don't want them to buffer or skip. Like, you know, I just need them to work. You can actually set those devices to be prioritized and then the rest of the bandwidth that's available will be spread out through your remaining devices. That feature is super easy to activate and I think that's a game changer as well. The other features such as the parental control, super useful, right? You can actually set websites that on certain devices, they will not be able to visit. So for all you guys who have kids out there, that's gonna be very useful and very beneficial too, because I know that a lot of parents worry today and rightfully so about you know certain websites that their kids may be visiting. So that control is really easy to get set up as well and it's super handy. Another thing I'm extremely impressed with is how well this router handles things intelligently. What I mean by that is so, when you connect like a phone to it, it's gonna assign it to either the 2.4 gigahertz band or the five gigahertz band. Now, what that means is the five gigahertz band is always gonna give you the faster speeds, but has less range. And then it's the opposite for the 2.4 gigahertz band. The 2.4 gigahertz band will give you decent speeds, but the longest range. So what happens is when I connected my phone to it, it assigned it to the five gigahertz band. Now, when I walked out of my house to do a range test with this, my five gigahertz band started to drop pretty quickly outside of my house. But then when I went into the app, I actually saw it switch my phone from the five gigahertz band to the 2.4. When it did that, my signal strength shot straight up to full. So I've never seen that before. And I think that that's another great feature. So you no longer need two SSIDs. Usually in the past, you'd have like, let's say, home and then you'd have home 5g at least with the uh, routers that are supplied with your cable company so now it's just one ssid and the router handles all of the assignments to the different bands all internally and very intelligently and so that's another thing i'm really impressed with and i think honestly links just hit this thing out of the park i think it's a, a definite thumbs up i highly recommend this router to anyone who is maybe thinking about upping their performance for like, you know, high speed HD content and video gaming. Okay, so negatives. As of now, I can't think of any negatives with this router. Everything I've asked it to do, it's done and it's done extremely well. From the setup to the management to the actual using the network, it's been great. Now I've only had it a couple days, so that's not to say that maybe something may not work in the future, but if something does happen, I will probably make a follow-up video. So thanks a lot for staying with me throughout this whole video. I know it's been long, but there's been a lot of information that I wanted to get passed through to you. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. I do tech reviews and tutorials, tips and tricks, and I've got a lot of great content that's gonna be rolling out over the next couple of weeks. So until next time, be well, and I'll catch you later.